This picture of a pressure cooker leads us to wonder what is the effect of an increase in pressure on the rate of a chemical reaction. Pressure affects chemical reactions if they involve gases, either as reactants or as products. At foundation level we have to explain in terms of this reacting particle model why an increase in pressure might affect the rate of reaction, but at higher level we need to explain it uh, in terms of successful collisions between particles. In module C2 we looked at the preparation of ammonia, a useful gas uh, because it's used in making such things as fertilizers and it's produced from two gases, nitrogen and hydrogen. And we saw that the reaction conditions for this in order to get the optimum percentage of ammonia in the mixture was 450 degrees, a high temperature because raising the temperature increased the rate of reaction, a high pressure and the use of a catalyst. But why was this high pressure important? Well, we learned in C2 that the high pressure increased the yield of ammonia, in other words, the percentage of ammonia in the mixture. But there's another reason why a high pressure is useful. Increasing the pressure of a gas mixture has the same effect as increasing the concentration of a solution. It forces the particles close together and makes them more crowded. Now, if these particles are forced closer together, then the frequency of the successful collisions between them will also be increased, and that will increase the rate of reaction. So, in summary, increasing the pressure of a gas mixture, for example by lowering this piston here, will make the particles more crowded, pushing them closer together. That will increase not only the number of collisions, but also the number of successful collisions. In other words, those with an energy greater than the activation energy. It won't make the particles move any faster, but it will force them close together, and that will make them more likely to collide with each other in a given time. Therefore, the collision frequency increases, so the rate of reaction increases.